Hi, just a two minute uh, video over the top greenhouse. Um, I'm just up in the back garden of my house now. We'll walk across. I'm going to turn the video around. We'll have a look at the apple trees and plums. This is a miniature apple tree. Uh, it's about seven foot high. It gets hundreds of apples. This is Discovery. It gets hundreds. Now it's time that we were thinning one or two out. If we look here, any of the weaker ones, they probably will fall off this month, but if they don't, they do need to be thinned out a little bit. As we can see, usually knock the smaller ones off. We get lots of fruit on here. I get hundreds of apples off this every year. Um, the whole family of uh, some lads come in and look after the loans and that. They um, all go away with fruit. There's always loads and loads of fruit on here. It's a good tree, this. Plum trees. Uh, I didn't prune them this year. They've gotten away on me a little bit. So they've got a good hard pruning later on. Now I did see a few plums on them, but it's hard to see. There's so much leaf on now, but I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, plums are a little bit there to clean up. But the, I get good plums on here as well. Uh, I used to get that many plums on. It used to snap branches, but the trees are a good few year old now, as you can see, good strong trunks on them. So we get plenty of fruit off there as well. Moving into the greenhouse. My grandson's fish. He's just got a couple of koi in there. Right, um, basil doing well. It needs cut down again. The more you crop it, the better it becomes. One or two lettuce left in here, which have run to seed. It's too hot. These are iceberg, um, but some on the back, which are still coming nicely. Um, cucumber plants. The heat in here is making these plants grow quite well. As you see, we're just draining them straight up and there's plenty of fruit coming on all the way up. Plenty of fruit appearing. What we do in here, I remove the tendrils. So the tendrils come off, just taking excess. Also, if you look, everywhere you have a leaf branch, you'll get two cucumbers. This is Socrates. We remove the smaller one of the two um, on each one. You see those two there? We'll remove that one. These are all female, so you can leave the flowers on. Tie them in regular, and you'll get loads of fruit. This behind, it looks like nettle, but it's not. This is um, lemon balm. Smells lovely. But the basil smells beautiful. I've got a few different varieties. Later set of lettuce again, chives. Moving on to tomatoes, we'll have a little look. These were actually set later than the ones down in the uh, polytunnels. And because there's heating on on a night time, you can see the fruit on here, it's coming very well, um, plenty of fruit on and they're looking very nice. This is Riesling, uh, all the way up there's loads of fruit. They haven't been, they're not been fed up now but they will be fed going forward. I'm on mixing fertilizers today. As you can see some nice fruit there and there's plenty of trusses. These have got seven trusses on, they've been stopped already. They've grown that quickly. Right, uh, these are nice tomatoes. This is Maisie. We did have a few problems with it in the early stages getting it to germinate. I haven't pruned these, I haven't taken any fruit off, but as you can see, the fruit's coming very nicely all the way through. We haven't cropped any from here as yet, but it won't be long. You can see they are coming nice. Uh, jalapeno peppers, yeah, coming up very nicely. Uh, right, I had seen some ghost spotting in here. I can just pinpoint it. There it is, on that particular, you can see the lighter marks, and it's caused through humidity. We've had some very mucky days, uh, it's only on the odd tomato, so it doesn't stop the uh, fruit from being edible, you can still eat it, but uh, it just doesn't look as good. But as you can see, lovely fruit on this maize here, it's a, a very good variety, and you can understand why they keep on improving all, all together maize. Along the end, an old variety, well, it's not an old variety, but it's off the market now, Gold Star. It is a, um, it was a top exhibition variety. Looking at the, at the plants, you would say they are superb. Really big, thick stems, plenty of foliage, very strong, robust plants. But where's the fruit? Um, yes, there is fruit on them. 
but certainly not as good as Maisie and that's why as a commercial variety it was no good uh, so basically it's off the market now you can't get it still a good quality fruit but I think Maisie's going to take over and hopefully um, when you look at the Maisie here they look as if they're very good quality fruits as well so we'll see what they end up like uh, these are grown in buckets and if you remember from one of the earlier showings that I did with the preparation of the tomato beds You would see exactly what I did in these pots uh, The feed I put into the pots has carried them through until now, but as I say they will actually um, That's it. They will need feeding from now on and uh, I'll mix some fertilizer up in a barrel and my wife looks after this greenhouse She does a pretty good job. She knows what she's doing uh, With the watering so I'll leave this to her. I just maybe look in once a week that's great. Thank you very much. Now, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.